right guys and today we have got something special for you we don't do this a lot either so you're in for a treat today we have got you can see mystery models from team hot wheels you have no idea what cars are in there actually we do but we're gonna open it up and explore for you guys to see and check it all out together and we also have got some unboxing today of you can see there's crustacean and over there is prowler he is part of the predator family with predator and pouncer and we'll get more into that a little bit with close-ups and stuff like that once we get further into the review but we've got some surprise guests some mystery guests behind the wall of monster truck boxes i don't think we should wait anymore let us get to it! First, let's get the models out. All right, we're going right right for the Team Hot Wheels. So, on today's mystery episode, the first guy we have is, let's check it out, a soccer car. What's that guy's name? Oh, here we go. There's a sticker inside. And it says, MR, whoops, MR11? MR11? I guess this guy is MR11. Let's see if we can pick that up there. MR11. All right, great. Next up. Another mystery. Now there's a secret to these uh, mystery bags that you get at Walmart. And if you guys want to know what that is, you can shoot us an email and I'll tell you how to decipher the code. But I'm not gonna ruin the fun by putting it on the video. Whoa, look at that thing. Wow. Let's see All what right. the name is this. Let's see. So here, I'm just gonna show them all. Look at this. It's a gold, whoa. Transparent yellow acrylic shell. I don't know what that is supposed to be on the side of it. Uh, yeah, that's really, really shiny. Cool. All right, there we go. And this car is called Bifocal. Bifocal. And next up? Next up, and Bifocal is all in the packaging for all these as well. Whoa, what do we got next? We have another mystery guest. We have, ah! <laughs> we, have a, we have a jumper. <laughs> okay, oh, here he is. This is the, was this an alligator? Oh no, it looks like a T-Rex. T-Rex yes. car of some sort? T-Rex car, there he is. And what do they call this guy? T Rex Destroyer. T Rex Destroyer. So these are kind of cool because you get stickers with uh, with all of these next Team one. Hot Wheel models. And we're on to the next one. Ooh, look at this, guys! Wow, it is a. It looks like a Camaro. Camaro, kind of a bumblebee. Bobby Camaro. Let's see what this is. I don't know any of the GM models, so I can't tell you which one it is. So it is, oh, okay. A 2012 ZL1 Concept Camaro. Very cool. I like that one. That one's probably my favorite. Which one's your favorite? The Camaro 2? Okay. Alrighty. And what else we got? Oh, you can see there's El Toro Loco peeking out. Oh, oh, oh. There's some more. Mega surprise today. Look who we got for our mystery guests. All right. We got our mystery guests, and now it's time for Predator. Actually, it's now time for... Prowler. Prowler, that's right. Okay, you can see Leah's doing the unboxing. And there's a little switch in the box that you have to turn to get him out. And there he is, Leo has done that. Hey, where's that box? Let's show him the switch. Look at this. You can see he bears a striking resemblance to his brother, Pouncer! Pouncer! Let's go look at Pouncer for a second. This is actually Pouncer 2. We have we've worn out one of the Pouncers. We love that guy so much. So, there you guys look pretty good. Red Rover sent Pouncer on over. 
and you just rev up the treads and there they go. Okay. Okay, so this is what the little clip looks like. You'll see on the bottom of the boxes, but it's pretty easy to navigate. Leo did this all by himself. Now next up. Ooh, it's the lobster guy. His name is Crustacean. Crustacean, there it is. Crustacean. <laughs> now all you right. know what we got. Look, everybody. Okay. Well, look at this. We got some of the Battle Slammers, which is what Crustacean is. And we got a couple of the Rev Treads. The two, uh, the Cheetah and the Tiger, the Prowler and the Pouncer, are both the Rev Treads. And, and this guy just appeared in the Magic Basement. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. So if you guys want to know what the Magic Basement is, look for the video called... Spider Central Dungeon Tour, and you'll be able to see the Magic Basement in all of its glory. Okay, and Leo is sure has got a whole bunch more he wants to tell you about these guys. Okay, so after these guys, you know what this is a bunch. We've got Nitro Hornet. Nitro Hornet is a bee of some sort, and um, he's kind of a wasp. Monster truck of some sort. Yeah, he's one of those one of those nasty flying insects that you usually don't want to come to the party. But he makes a pretty cool monster truck. Yeah, and a night roll hornet is the monster truck. Next up Pouncer. Pouncer. So what we're doing with this video guys is we're just taking a look at all of the um, all of our animal our animal trucks. Next up, Cross Station, and he wanted to battle on, so he gets a claw. Yeah, these are the battle slammers, and so what they do with the monster minis is every year they kind of come out with a little gimmicky thing. Uh, sometimes a ramp, sometimes a crushable car, sometimes a little guy that stands in front of the truck. The drivers never actually fit in the trucks, but so that's what this year's gimmicky thing is. Is a, it's a little thing that clips on. We get to the close-ups, I'll show you guys how that works. Okay, let's um, put that aside. And um, the, looking at the actual monster truck, it reminds me of a real lobster of some sort. And um, on this monster truck guy, he doesn't have the eyes. Yeah, he doesn't have the stocks on him, but, you know, it's a monster truck, so they, <laughs> they can only do so much. So next up, Mega Rex, and look at this gimmick. You can make him a pickup when you take the tail off. It oh. looks like on a tail, it has little legs. Yeah, that one came with the ramp. Um, so that was his. Uh, that was his little addition this year. And we'll 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 do close ups of all that stuff so you guys can see it closer. Now looking at this one, it looks like a T Rex. Yeah, a T Rex with a shark tail. Pretty cool. That's a cool feature, actually, to be able to put them on, take them off, and all that. And next up, El Toro Loco. El Toro Loco, the El crazy bull. Now, looking at this actual figure, he really reminds me of a bull of a uh, some sort of cow, some sort of a uh, cow monster truck with silver tire yeah. rims, with silver rims. For sure. Next up is Predator. Predator. That's the same claw as a comparison. Here is Crustacean's claw. And you can see they're both the same. Yep. Except different names on them. Yep. And smoothies aside. Yep. Now these are all 164 trucks, so they're 164 scale. Um, and we've got some, except for the rev treads. The revs are, are 1 to 43, I believe. So those are 143s and the rest are 164s. And next up, it, so so um, Predator is a nice panther truck. And looks like he's a pickup. This pickup, in the front of it, looks like teeth. Looks like it's going to suck your blood out. <laughs> a vampire panther? Yeah, it kind of looks like it with the teeth down. Well, all the all the uh, all the cat family have those same teeth. Pouncer and uh, Prowler also have those as well. Okay, and 
looking at the actual monster truck, you can see on these little fronts, you can connect them. Like, if you want, you can connect this. And also, you could take the cab off and mix and match with him, his other brother. So, taking off this, here's the real monster truck itself. It's naked and looks like mechanical. Yeah, that's cool that you can just take it off and look at the roll cage. And then uh, the, the tops just snap back on. I don't think they do it except for the Battle Slimers, though. So I think the Battle Slimers um, are the only ones that actually do that. And I think only some of them do that also. You can mix and match. Yeah, you can mix and match with that type, but not with all of them. It's we'll get into that a little bit. Scooby-Doo! Where you might be able to do some of that and where you wouldn't Scooby -Doo, be able to. Scooby-Doo, I think Fred just turned this guy into a big monster truck. Whoa. Like in um, uh, some sort of acti activating thing. Oh, an activate, yeah. yeah an maybe. activating thing that makes this guy into a monster truck. Looks like cool. I think the activating device, this makes the tires big. So you may see it in one of our um, monster truck rally videos. X. Oh. And the last one, I think, is Shark Reek. Shark Reek. And shark Reek is a shark. Now, as you can see, he has shark red. As in the inner end, it's white. Yeah, that actually is one of the oldest monster trucks that we have. That was one of the very, very first ones that Leo got. So that one's a pretty, pretty cool one. That's one of the older ones that we Look have. Look at the crack on this one. Yeah, he's taking some damage. He's, uh... He's met Mr. Floor a time or two. Now, as you can see, it has the Shark Week logo on the desk cabinet. On the hood, yep. Yep, on the hood. And next up is the Prowler. Yeah. Now, as you can see, this thing is like Panzer. Yeah, they're very... The Predator family, they actually made those as toys before they made the actual monster trucks out of them. Uh, but that's a really, really cool one. I can't believe it. In comparison with Pouncer, you can see that they have the different stripes on them. Yeah, they did a good job with with making them after the after the Apex Predator cat. So Preller is obviously a tiger. Predator is a, pa a black panther, and um, the uh, Pouncer is a cheetah. So they're both in the family. So as you can see in the back. They have the same um, logo ring. Now I can say, let's do close ups. Okay, let's do close ups. Give me which one you want to do close ups first. And it's. All right, Predator. Let, and let's see Predator's. Let's see his claw. Give, give me a uh, crustacean's claw, too. Okay, so let's look at, the look at the accessories first, and then we'll do away with these here. So you can see here's crustaceans, and here is. Predators, um, and you can see there's not a big difference between them. They're basically the same thing. All right, so there's a good look for you guys. Of there's also some pads that you can tap into the actual thing. monster trucks too. So there's Predator. We'll put Crustacean back over there, and you can see there's a little right there, a little notching. So that notching, I'll just show you this. This notching goes on this front part. So basically you just put the bottom on and then just slide the top on like so. And that is the size of it. There's nothing else to it. All right, so let's take a look at this guy real quick. Anyone that has a structure like this where it's just a little bit of truck sitting on top of a whole lot of frame, you can, as Leo already mentioned, uh, do some mixing and matching with these. Um, if you're inclined. So you can see there's the his nose and the teeth and the Predator Panther shape and uh, Predator on the tailgate and you, I'm not sure what this uh, what this is actually built on. This could be pretty much any model of the truck but there you go. Nice shiny black. Back here we have, let's see if we can pick that up. Yep, there it is. The Monster, Monster Jam logo and the uh, Hot Wheels logo. Okay, and so 
really crumbed out. Really, really crumbed out. I like this truck. This is a cool truck. We found that one just kind of randomly one day, so we were definitely happy to see him. This is actually one of the best looking trucks I think they've done. Crush Station. Again, with the good old Master Jam logo and the good old Team Hot Wheels logo. And the shocks outside of the shell, I think, are a little bit weird. Uh, but you can see he's got He's got his eye holes there. He does not have his stocks. Um, and then there's the... Like if you want, you can there. paint the eyes. Yeah, you could if you wanted to. And there you go. Pretty much just a lobster. Old Leo has put the claw on it for you guys to see. I'm not sure what the purpose of that is. Uh, monster truck jousting anyone, I guess? Okay. Okay, guys. And... Red Rover, Red Rover, send somebody else on over. Oh, Prowler! Now he's just like Pouncer. Yes, he is. He is a lot like Pouncer. And I like this, I like the coloration on him. I don't like the name of this guy. but And of course, there we have our, I don't know if you picked that out, there's our Monster Jam Team Hot Wheels logos on the back of the truck box. And... So the idea with rev treads is that this thing will move on its own. Um, it reminds me kind of of the stomper vehicles. If anybody, any of you guys out there actually remember that, probably most of you will be too young for that. But if your parents happen to remember that, um, it reminds me kind of of that, except it doesn't require batteries. So you can see not a ton of detail on this guy, but you get the idea. He's a tiger. He's rev treads, and rev treads, of course, this table is a little bit too slick to do this on. So I'm going to rev them off camera and I'll show you. So there you go. You can see you just kind of push the tires, get them going, and see you later. See you later, Prowler. Okay, who else we got? Ooh, yes. Mega Rex. Now, I didn't know this guy was even a guy. And Leo happened to see him on the Axel and Dad show, which maybe a lot of you guys watch also. Yeah, 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 because... He there lost his mega. Yeah, I guess they lost theirs, but so Leo was familiar with his truck from that episode. He saw this guy randomly in a grocery store. He's fierce. Look at this. This guy is mean looking. Look at that. That's you can a see mean. his teeth sticking out. Yeah, he's mean looking. There's a Monster Jam logo. Uh, and you can see very subtle on the side, Mega Rex. And it, this tail I don't understand. Um it is neat that you can take it on, on and off. Um, so I guess the idea there would be if you jumped him, he could come loose. Uh, sometimes when you watch monster truck rallies, you'll see uh, parts go flying off after particularly bad jumps. Here you can kind of, you can kind of see his little claw thing. Um, and this also came with it. So this is the ramp that comes with Mega Rex. And as you can see here, this, hopefully you can pick that out. This is a car. This part right here is a car. And there's the front of the car, and a little bit of the windows, and it's just a real basic shape of a car. In here we have a wheel, a muffler, no, and a the Team Hot Wheels logo. It could be a smokestack, yeah, it could be. It could be a smokestack. And there's the Monster Jam logo on the hood of that car. And very cool, I like this actually a lot. I think this is a neat little thing. I wish it was higher, but... This is kind of a cool little thing to have with, um, just to have, because you can actually line up the Team Hot Wheels here, I'll show you. Let's just say you wanted to do this, right? So you can see, you can line up this ramp to Team Hot Wheels, and just have a whole line of Team Hot Wheels, uh, these little small cars, these are also 164, and just have the guy just run right over them, like that. So this is kind of cool as far as that height, and here I'll show you there, so you, oops. As you can see it on the actual table, it's pretty close. Okay, and... Mega Rex, there's the back. Okay, next. Please. Next, we have El Toro Loco. Now, this guy is available in a lot of colors because apparently they paint this a lot. I've seen this in black, I've seen it in red. This particular one is neither of those, uh, of course, but you see the nose ring for the bull in front. Um, fire coming out of his nose, nostrils, and the horns for his head, um, and then these 
weird teeth on the side. I don't know what that's supposed to be. But there you go. Teeth? Get a get a good look at this. El Toro Loco. It almost sounds like it should be a food truck or something, but anyway, El Toro Loco, he's pretty cool. We like him. He's a good truck. Alright, who else we got? Oh yes, Nitro Hornet. This is a very odd looking truck. I'm not sure about this. I do like how they integrated the uh, exhaust pipes into the thorax. That was cool. Um, and of course, the obligatory Hot Wheels and Monster Jam logos. Here's his little antenna, but those pop off a lot. I don't know if this is actually a racer or not. I'm assuming it is, but... Um, Leo picked this one out kind of randomly at the store one day. And... Seems to have an attachment to it for some reason. I think it's okay. Leo likes it. Good thing. So oh, here we go. So we have lots of living creatures and we still have a few more to go. And here's another one. Shark Reek. Now, I thought this was from Discovery Channel. It was actually Shark Week when we got it. <laughs> but no, it's Shark Reek. Um, here we go. Those tail fins. It says the Monster Jam logo on it. Yeah, that's a... A tough, lot of sharks don't have that. Tough one to pick out. There it is. Actually, okay. no sharks had that. No, sh <laughs> sharks don't usually have logos. I like this. I like the body lines of this. Uh, here we have the actual driver on the car, I guess. I um, don't see that a lot on these Team Hot Wheel repros, but uh, you can see there's the fan tail fins. I think they did a great job. The design of this is fantastic. Like I said, this is one of the very, very first ones we ever got. Uh, he's been with us a long time. This has been a great, great addition to the uh, fleet. The, actually, the fleet started with this guy. So we really enjoyed him. I think the paint, this color of paint is awesome. Really good. This is one of our favorites. All right. And, okay, there goes Scooby. <laughs> I was about to do Scooby. Well, well, Leo grabs Scooby. I'll show you Pantser. Now, Pantser is a Rev Treads. Now, we... Now we, lo we love the rev treads. So this guy, this is this is Panzer II. So we wore one of these guys completely out. So we just wore the little motors out and... That's when it, he broke. Yeah, that's when he broke. It'll go forward or reverse. You can see it's got the nice sort of beige coloration of, of a cheetah. I like the actual paint on this one. Um, and it is paint, it's not a paper. It's paint, it's not a paper sticker. I like the paint on this a lot better, actually, than Prowler. Uh, but, but both of them are really good looking. Pouncer has just been one of our favorites. We've, we've had a lot of good times with both Pouncer 1 and Pouncer 2. This is Pouncer 2. Pouncer 1 has uh, unfortunately departed for parts unknown. Uh, but anyway, there it is. Th these are awesome. You, everybody needs at least one, maybe two of these in their collection. And they don't have to be Pouncers, but these Rev Treads are awful cool. Right, buddy? Yeah. All right. And let's just send him back over to Leo, over the ramp, through the woods, and over the over the chair mat. And here he is, Scooby himself that doesn't have eyes. Okay. Eyebrows, no eyes. There's his tongue hanging out the door. <laughs> and Scooby-Doo, little SD dog tag, Monster Jam, Hot Wheels. This thing on the back. I wonder if they made this for the movie. Do you think they came out with this for the movie? No. When they came out with the first live action movie? No? Maybe not. They, um, they did a cool job with this. It's a good looking truck. Definitely captures Scooby-Doo pretty good. Got the collar and the whole kit and caboodle here. And that is it for the close-ups of the... Uh, all of our animal and living creature monster truck collection. Okay, so here it is. Here everybody is all lined up. Let's get in for a nice group shot picture. Actually, let's just close in. There is Crustacean and Predator. Nitro Hornet with Panzer behind him and El Toro Loco and Prowler. And Mega Rex, and way in the back is our buddy Shark Reek. All right, guys, it's been a really cool review. 
definitely definitely had a lot of fun with these guys both shopping for them in stores and then bringing them to you so uh hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video as much as we enjoyed making it if you do please click like and subscribe and we will see you all later next time ba, 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 ba. bye <laughs> bye bye <laughs>